remarkable. Now, what happened to dinosaurs living in Africa? Up till now, that's always been something of a question mark with limited fossils from that period. But not for much longer because scientists have discovered a new species of dinosaur in the Sahara Desert in Egypt that could start filling in those gaps. Well, let's find out a little more from the BBC's Helen Briggs, who's here in the studio with us. And Helen, uh, this is quite significant, isn't it? It certainly is. To put this into context, so we get about three new dinosaur fossils a month, which is incredible from around the world, but from Africa, uh, from this time period, so 66 to 100 million years ago, just a handful. So scientists are genuinely excited about this fossil. One told me that his jaw hit the floor when he saw it. And rather than being a piece of a puzzle in a jigsaw about African dinosaurs, it's more like a cornerstone. So from this you can build a completely new picture of the evolution of dinosaurs on the continent. And in terms of the fossils they've discovered, what, what type of dinosaur do they know? Well, this is um, a sauropod, so this long-necked, um, big plant-eating dinosaur. It's actually a, a subclass titanosaur, so these are the greatest land animals on Earth, some massive ones. This one's quite modest, though, as they go. Um, it, it was about the length of a school bus and weighed about the same as an African elephant. We're looking at the team uh, and the pictures uh, from the Sahara Desert and just the work in excavating this. Tell me a little more about why the fossils for this period are so hard to come by in Africa. Well, that's right. Firstly, uh, the land's covered by lush vegetation. So you tend to find dinosaurs where you've got a lot of exposed rock. So they've been digging them up in parts of the states and this exposed rock. When there's vegetation, they're very hard to get to. Um, and also... Um, finding them, getting access to them. So this team has made a very, very important discovery and what's exciting is that they can go back and, and look for more things. And what does it tell us ab about Europe, Africa, the movement across those continents uh, in this time? Well, this is a critical time towards the end of the reign of the dinosaurs and the big land masses had joined as this supercontinent and they were moving apart and splitting up more like the continents that we know today. And the fact that they've looked at this dinosaur, they found it, and it seems fairly similar in terms of its anatomy um, to other dinosaurs in Europe and Asia. So it seems to suggest that at that time, then animals could still move around on land bridges and, and islands. Just very quickly, that's a graphic there on the screen. How much did they actually find? Is it a full skeleton, the fossil, or just part of it? It's pretty much a full thing, um, jawbone, skull, vertebrae, tailbone, so they can piece together a very good picture of it. Not quite all of it there, but certainly a lot more than there's been in the past from this time period. Helen, thanks very much. Uh, we'll take a short break. Stay with us in a couple of minutes. Uh, we have an astonishing story of two babies who swapped at birth but remained with their non-biological parents. That's coming up.